Mustache. By Margie Palatini and illustrated by Henry Cole. This book is copyright by Margie Palatini and Henry Cole and published by Scholastic Inc. Moose had a problem, a horrible, hairy, prickly problem. It grew right below his nostrils and just above his upper lip. A moustache. Now, not a few spare hairs or shy little stubble. No mere weak wandering whiskers on the upper lip of this moose. No siree. Moose had a big, bushy, bristly, mighty moustache. But a moustache that was a burly, surely mangy mess. And it itched a lot. Sure, he plucked. And he tweezed. He even clipped, snipped, and teased. But his combs were still cowards, and his brushes rebelled. His scissors simply surrendered. Oh my god. Get it! That's it! I'm out! That's how scissors talk. It's a mixed conception. People think they go snip snip. Moose was in a frizzy tizzy. The moustache was completely crimping his style. I mean, look at that style. Moosic master. Good one. He was a great hoofer. What does that mean? But he could barely bop and hip hop with a moustache going flip flop. Look at him tumble and grumble like a flippity moose. My goodness, this book is turning into a zeus. He was a wonderful chef. But he simply could not flambe his souffle with all of those whiskers in his way. Oh. <laughs> and he was a daring skier. But how could he downhill race with the mighty moustache blowing in his face? <laughs> Moose had to do something. And soon. But what? After days and days of much serious thought, Moose got an idea. He crossed some hair here, he crossed some hair there, and he tied his moustache around his neck. A moose scarf seemed to be the ideal answer to his problem. It was so simple, so easy, so perfectly perfect. He looks like a nice, soft, served chocolate ice cream cone. Moose tracks! That's what it is! But then... His moustache got knotted and mangled and horribly tangled. And those hundreds of hairs still pickled and tickled. <laughs> Worse, Moose could barely take a breath with all that moustache wrapped around his neck. <laughs> Moose. So, Moose untied, unwrapped, unknotted, and... Oh. Gulped in some fresh air. <gasps> he got another idea. He parted some hair this way. He parted some hair that way. And he heaped all that moustache on top of his head. Moustachioed. Antlers seemed to be the ideal answer to his problem. It was so simple. So easy. So perfectly perfect until a squadron of squirrels and one very nosy gopher moved right into the moose motel they huddled and hoarded furrowed in burrowed out oh i've had that probably before just not with squirrels i bet those are the squirrels from that pete the cat book because they took over their tree needless to say it became quite crowded up there on moose's head and heavy and messy oh just imagine the mess and very very noisy what the heck were they doing the squirrely chitting and chatting squeals and squawks woke moose every morning before the crack of dawn and that gopher was giving the moose one hairy headache moose needed his sleep he needed his rest he needed his privacy Mustachioed. Antlers? Nuts. Said Moose. So he unparted and unpiled, untwisted and untwined, and said adios to the hairy horns. Nice curtains there, Moose Man. <laughs> but now what? 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 The miserable Moose took hold of a hunk of hair and he wrestled it, then roped it. He tethered, tied, Tamed! Aha! A moose tail! Now that 
was so simple. That was so easy. That was not so perfectly perfect. Talk about a dizzy do. What? Moose didn't know if he was coming or going. Backward? Forward? This way? That? He didn't know which end was which. Moose had to bail on the tail. And so he thought, and thought, and thought some more. But no other idea was a worthy winner. Braids were a bother. A moustache. Sweater? Too sweltering. Net? Not! Poor Moose. His problem was truly terrible, unbearable, just downright sad. He felt so alone. He didn't know what else to do. Then, call it fate, call it destiny, it was probably dumb luck. But one day, Moose tripped on his moustache and just had no time to duck. Oomph! Pardon me, pardon me. They both said as they bumped. Then they blinked and they stared. And their hearts went. She was a moose with a bouffant. So bodacious, outrageous. Well, it was just plain old big. Hair after hair piled higher than high. A skyscraping dew of glorious curls. A tower of swirling twists and twirls. She was simply splendid, stupendous, absolutely superb. Herb. Of course, Moose had to ask how she did what she did to get such a do. Miss Moose winked and then whispered, Just a little glue. So, she helped he, I don't think that's right, fearlessly plunge a hoof into a fat pot of the white gooey goop. And carefully, oh so carefully, they glopped. And they plopped, they pasted and they pressed. They coaxed and curled every truly unruly wayward whisker. Around and around they tweaked and twirled those horrible hairs until Moose's once mangy mess was now a wondrous winding wave of marvelous moustache. Moose gazed in the mirror and smiled a broad, moosey smile with his upper lip hanging over his bottom lip. He was so happy, so glad, just giddy with glee. He looked dashing and handsome. Moose gushed. Is that really me? With not a care for one hair, the moose pair boogied and bopped. They skied downhill and even uphill, and their cooking was hot, hot, hot. Oh my, PG-13, woo! So, of course, it wasn't long after that Moose and his moustache and his beautiful bride fox-trotted and tangoed and waltzed down the aisle. Good hair days, bad hair days, they vowed to love and to cherish. And with hearts heaped with love and pots filled with goop, they both sighed. I do glue. I do glue. And promised never to part. It was so simple. So easy, so perfectly perfect, and it stuck. The end. Oh my gosh, those are some ugly babies. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. In other words, hit the thumbs up. That's the like. And if you want to see more of our videos, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell. It'll tell you when more of our videos come out. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next reading.